that again. That was great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was great. Kind of bittersweet. I mean, he, he, he ran a big race, and he, he ran that division a second faster than the, than, than the first division. As they straighten away for all, Scatman trying to fight off Secret Circle. Scatman running the race of his life. Secret Circle up alongside. These two are squaring off. It's Scatman or Secret Circle. Secret Circle on the outside, drifting out. Scatman at the rail. Secret Circle, a Bejarano Baffert sweep of the Southwest. And you know, you're glad and sad. He's glad that you ran big and. Sad that you got beat. Scatman, I thought, was very tough, very resilient. He ran a super race, you know. He broke up. He come out of the gate nice, you know what I mean? Went right to the lead, set or nice around the turn. We wasn't planning on going to the lead unless it just kind of fell out that way, and it kind of did, and, and there we were, and uh, so we stayed with it. And he seemed to relax from the lead and, and made a run and fought back. And, just got beat the last 50 yards. Scatman trying to fight off Secret Circles. Turning for home, we hooked head and head with him. And when I really got on the lane, you know, he gave me a little more. I went, I got like butterflies. They said, we're going to get this one, you know. He led the whole way. We took pressure from Secret Circle. Secret Circle just had enough. Lost a big time horse. We regroup and try it again. But I think there's still improvement there. Improvement is a big reason why Michael Lauer entered Scatman in the Southwest Stakes and is excited for his Colts next start in the Rebel Stakes. Scatman has shown improvement in each race since breaking his maiden at Keeneland. Scatman has the lead by three lengths. Then yes, he's trouble on the far outside, but at the line it is Scatman and Corey Landry to take it. I mean, it was a good race as any maiden special at Keeneland is. And, um, he, he won pretty impressively. 115 days after breaking his maiden, Scatman would make his three-year-old debut and his first start for Lauer. But it's Scatman who is much the best of this field. Scatman wins stylishly by about three lengths. He impressed me a lot when he ran. I mean, I thought he, he, he would run a good race, um, and he ran a better race than I really thought than I, I expected. Lauer also sees the Colts' temperament as a big reason for his continued development. He's very easy to deal with. He's very easy around the barn. He just does everything you ask him. He is, he's a push button. He's a automatic. He's so laid back. You know, he goes up there and just, just, just goes. You know, when he works, he, you ask him for more, he just give you more. You ask him to go a little slow, he goes a little slow. Doesn't get you excited about much. Uh, a, a real pleasure to be with. Lauer has been training for 35 years, and he knows how fickle the Derby Road can be. But a good showing by Scatman in Oakland's $500,000 Rebel Stakes can shorten that long, winding trail. Well, you always get Derby season. I mean, if you, if you win a maiden race as a two-year-old late in the year, you get you know you get a little bit, but you kind of have to control it because uh, it's a long way. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to it.